I told you, me and my wife, my former wife, remain friendly. She calls me up one day, there's a mouse in the kitchen. She wants me to get the mouse. I haven't dealt with a mouse in years, you know. So I go down to Home Depot. You know what that is, right? Home Depot is a giant place, five miles away. You park, it takes you five hours to walk there. <laughs> People whizzing by, all kinds of stuff happening. All these kids work there with orange aprons on. They have cell phones, headphones, internets. Nobody knows where anything is at. <laughs> the whole time you're there, Joe gardening, Joe gardening, Joe electrical, Joe electrical, Joe hard, there's some guy called Joe in the back. They all call him, he knows where everything is at. So I'm looking for a mousetrap. So I go finally to the place, the kid is there, you know, right away I know we got problems, you know. <laughs> I said, listen, I'd like to get a mousetrap. Now, when I was a kid and older, there was a very simple mousetrap. It was very simple. It was just a little piece of wood with a thing that you pulled back a metal latch. You put cheese or a little bacon on there. The mouse would go get it, and this would release that latch and snap its neck. <laughs> the job was done. <laughs> Everyone was happy, except perhaps the mouse. So I asked the kid, and he goes, we don't have any of those. Oh my God, that was a wonderful thing. That was one of the greatest inventions of all time. It was so simple. I said, well, what do you have? He goes, we have the humane trap. <laughs> Let me see the humane trap. Gets out a cylinder, got a price tag of $19 on there. I'm not buying this. There ain't no mouse worth 19 bucks. <laughs> now the kid is excited. This is a humane trap. You open this up, inside are some little tablets that give off an aroma, they attract the mouse, he runs in, this shuts, you've caught the mouse, it's humane. I said, well, that's incredible. Oh, what do I do with the mouse after I get him? I'm not a collector of mice. I gotta give this kid credit, he didn't bat an eye, he goes, well, you let it loose in your backyard. I said, it'll run back in the house again. He didn't bat an eye, let it go in your neighbor's yard. I said, we haven't given him the lawnmower back. I said, look, you've got something to kill a mouse. I know you do, I know you do. You've got stuff to kill weeds and bugs, and a mouse is right around that area. Now you give me what you've got to kill a mouse. No, I'm not making this up, some of you know it's true. He gets something out like a piece of sandpaper. And he says, that has those pellets on it with the aroma, the mouse runs on there, and gets stuck, it's glue. And the mouse dies, struggling to get out of the glue. I said, my God, that's horrible. He said, what's well, more humane than that other one? I said, and, and then I'm thinking, suppose I'm hungry and there's a bunch of food I walk over and my neck is snapped. As opposed to walking over and going, oh my God, that's glue. I could have a heart attack. I just get it, because I'm in a rush. My former wife thought it was as silly as I did. We're gonna try it out, we put it, you know, we put it in the kitchen. The next morning, about 6.05, I get a call. You gotta cover, cover, you gotta come over right now, you gotta come over right now. I throw the robe over the pajamas, this is an FR, I get in the house. She's holding the cat, our cat's going insane. <laughs> what is it? The mouse, the mouse! We go in the kitchen and there's the mouse. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Mm -mm. He's not dead. I got the healthy, happy mouse. I got the jogging mouse. The non-smoking mouse, that's who I got. My wife said, you gotta do something. The cat's gone. I said, take the cat and put it in your bedroom and lock the door right now. Because if that cat gets loose on that glue and that mouse, that's gonna be a mess. And you know who's gonna have to take it to the vet. And the vet doesn't like me either. Our vet doesn't like me. Because our dog broke his leg. Now, any of you people with pets knows how difficult it is when your dog breaks his leg. I mean, it was awful. And I get him to the vets. We put him up on that steel uh, table there. And the vet goes, you people ought to watch your dogs more carefully. I said, yeah, I'll just quit my job and follow the dog around all day. <laughs> Why don't you just do your job? He who is not worthy to work on humans.
Now I'm looking at the mouse thinking, well, I can't shoot him and blow a hole through the floor. I can't step on him and get it on my shoe. I can't frisbee it in the neighbor's yard. What's this? Where's my lawnmower? So I'm looking at the mouse trying to think what to do. And what I thought I could do is put him in a big trash bag, drive over to a park and put him in a dumpster. Then knowing my luck, I stop at the park looking halfway normal in LA, start walking to the dumpster. Freeze, police! What's in the bag? A mouse and glue! You're sick. <laughs> no, I'm an artist. <laughs> But I decided that's what to do. So I get the bag out, I start punching some holes in it. My son who was about 13, comes walking. Ah, you're feeling humane today. So what do you mean? Well, you think the mouse could breathe. Maybe you'll get loose. I said, as a matter of fact, I do. Why wasn't the cat doing his job? What are you, could you leave me alone? I got something I gotta take care of here. Oh, I could keep it as a pet. What are you talking about? It's stuck on glue. Well, I can feed it and give it a little one. <laughs> My wife comes back in. I want it out. I want it out right now. I said, just hold on. Let me work on this. I want it as a pet. And the mouse died. <laughs> the mouse heard the three of us and just collapsed right there. <laughs> hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has its own app? So download it right now and watch my entire special.